okay welcome to today's inventors class right so for the question on the screen here yeah, it is having uh four major components all right four major components it's having the cap all right the brasses the studs and the ones and the base all right so let's start first of all with what with the base so keep clicking on start with the sketch i'm picking uh x z plane for myself all right i'm picking x z plane for myself all right so after doing that what am i going to do i'm going to pick my rectangle in this manner okay so looking at uh the very base okay so i'm having uh first of all this height of uh mark 12 all right then this area of mark 156 i'm going to press what enter all right so after pressing my enter i'm going to pick my coincidence constraint all right i'm going to pick from the center then place it right here yeah, you see i'm going to pick another rectangle in this manner okay that is going to be uh height of 25 okay then span of 72 plus 24 all right so that is going to be what 96 right there then i'm going to pick my what coincident constraint also from this midpoint down here okay now yeah we are almost there we are almost there so what's the next procedure the next procedure is this i'm going to pick uh my arc i'm going to pick uh center point arc in this manner all right so picking that i'm going to stand right here at the center here okay in this manner i'm going to draw an arc of radius uh 17 first of all 17 then i'm what i'm drawing that okay standing at the same midpoint i'm going to draw another arc of what uh, radius 18 okay with radius 18 enter then i what i draw that also can you see can you see that okay so what else am i going to do i'm going to actually pick uh my my hidden line okay then pick a line standing at the center i'm going to draw this line right here okay in that manner after doing that i'm going to deactivate the hidden line i'm going to pick normal straight line i'm going to draw one in this manner all right then i'm going to uh produce another one straight in this manner then the distance between these two lines is mark of what mark of 32 which is this enter then i'm going to pick my what my symmetric constraint pick here pick here then this center position at the middle i'm going to use my trim command now so picking my trim i trim uh this area of this area of i trim this i trim this okay so i'm going to trim uh this 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 i'm trimming this off i'm trimming this off also so we are left with what this particular figure right there okay so i'm going to what uh finish my sketch so finishing my sketch i'm going to position it very well okay so picking my extrude my extrude this bottom mark of what 25 okay i'm going to use symmetric then what okay all right so i'm going to what click on extrusion on sketch i'm going to click on what uh shear sketch all right clicking on my shear sketch i'm going to click on extrude again picking extrude i'm going to pick this first of all then i'm going to zoom it in so that you can see i'm picking what this also okay so radius of uh width of what 24 then i'm going to pick my what symmetric also then what okay okay can you see that can you see that now i'm going to pick, pick what extrude all over then i'm going to pick the thin yeah i'm going to pick that thinner one all right mark of what uh four towards the left four towards the right that's what it's eight minus 24 that's what 16 mark of 16 all right so symmetric then i'm going to click on what cut can you see that then what okay okay so that is that about that right here okay what is the next thing i'm going to do okay to make it clean let us actually hide this sketch okay so that is that right there so i'm going to pick my uh fillet fillet radius what uh fillet of radius 12 all right with my radius 12 i'm going to what click this edge click that edge click this edge click this edge then what okay okay having my okay i'm going to click on one of these face create sketch okay creating my sketch 
let me stand in this way okay i'm going to pick my circle since we are having a story of m10 all right so it will be what mark of uh 10 right there so i'm clicking on what circle of diameter what 10 enter so let me position it at the center right there in this to this is what uh zero okay that set with so picking my circle also coming right here circle of what diameter was 10 enter so picking my dimension this to this then zero okay after that i'm going to come here pick my what lot i'm going to pick what center to center so then i'm going to what stand right here the span here is what six enter then the diameter is what eight enter all right so and the distance of my slot from uh that should be this mark here to the edge here should be what 11 mark of what 11 okay so instead of me reproducing it all over again i'm just going to what pick my heading line pick a line stand right here at the center then what project a line up there so then i'm going to what pick my symmetric constraint sorry i'm going to pick my mirror i'm going to use mirror i pick my mirror then i pick this 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 and what and this okay then i pick what mirror line then i what i stand right here then i click what apply then i click on what done okay then i'm going to what finish my sketch so finishing my sketch i'm going to extrude this and this mark of what mark of 25 then what downward okay okay i'm going to uh come right here on sketch 2 i'm going to what share sketch okay clicking on extrude i'm going to click this slot and what this slot then distance will be what all distance of what all then what cut then what okay okay so i'm going to what let me hide this sketch also visibility in that manner in this manner okay we are done with what with the base okay fillet of radius what radius one fillet of radius one throughout right there then what okay I think it's good like this so to make it realistic i come to generic my material i'm going to pick a uh, steel alloy yeah steel alloy for my material okay view visual style realistic okay so that is that about this i'm going to save it as what i'm saving it as base okay i'm saving it as base enter okay so that is that about that so we yeah, are going to create this touch so those thoughts of what of m10 okay so create sketch i'm gonna use uh xz plane which is the plan right there then picking my circle circle of diameter what diameter 10 okay then what finish sketch all right so i'm going to extrude it to 18 18 plus 11 plus 12 all right that's the extrusion so let me make it symmetric yeah top up bottom so okay and that is it right there okay now i'm going to pick my what my thread my thread so on this axis yeah length length is what uh 18 18 from that axis all right okay then thread again from this axis length is what uh length is going to be 11 then what okay so i'm having it let's make it realistic okay this one i'm gonna pick uh something silver silver yeah so view visual style realistic so i'm going to make use of this so i'm going to call this one i'm going to call it stored all right i'm going to call it stored that's my own preference all right so we are going to have two of that so i'm going to replicate it when we are going to what actually assemble that by the time you assemble i'm going to replicate that all right so control n yeah a new project sorry a new working environment then what create so i am creating the third item which is what the brasses so let's create the one at the bottom first of all all right let's create the one at the bottom first of all so i'm going to click start to the cache click on my yz plane in that manner all right so yeah okay so right about now pick my circle with my circle circle of radius 20 that's the diameter what 40 yeah then another circle of radius what radius 12 that's diameter what diameter 
24 24 all right settled in that manner settled in that manner all right what's the next thing i'm going to do i'm going to what pick a straight line and what draw it across the circle from the what a from the center in that manner okay okay so it's looking like it right so i'm going to trim this off this off let me deal with the one at the top all right so that being settled what is the next procedure what is the next procedure so the next procedure is going to be this i'm going to produce another circle yeah radius what radius 17 that's diameter what diameter 34 34 okay so then i'm going to what trim this area off okay so after getting that what else are we doing i think that's all so the rest has to do with what with our extrude okay so yeah mathematics will be applicable here so let's start from this part of uh 17 yeah let's let's start from this part okay so the distance there is what is 25 25 then i'm going to make it what symmetric i'm going to press what okay so clicking my what extrusions then what shear sketch i'm going to click on extrude i'm going to pick ah can it work out can it work out can it work out yeah it can actually work out it can actually work out so how do we do that how do we do that so i'm coming let me reason it out okay so let's do it this way let me cancel this so our first extrusion yeah so 25 we have six at both ends so 25 plus 12 25 plus 12 all right that will be our first extrusion then for our second extrusion yeah it's also going to be 25 plus 12 also plus 12 also okay 25 plus 12 also for our second extrusion which is that in that manner also yeah okay then we now go back we click extrude again all right picking this no not that so we click on extrude again picking this first one right here okay so which is what 25 with 25 at the center right there then with this yeah we did it yeah we did it we did it let's check didn't we make any mistake no no mistake at all no mistake at all yeah that's it so r with my r let me check this oh sorry with my m press m with m okay right here that's radius what radius 12 diameter of what's 24 that's it sweet like sweet okay so let me hide uh the visibility of this particular sketch right here so we are told that it is what brass we are told that it is brass so automatically i i have material made of brass right here so i'm going to look for brass right here brass yeah brass is let's use brass soft yellow okay view visual style realistic okay i think we are done with that okay so this one is compressed i'm going to label it as brass one brass one you know you're having to brass right there okay so control n control n create let's create the second brass our brass two all right so start to the sketch click on that so pick my circle so my first circle is going to be radio and diameter 24 which is radius 12 second circle was diameter uh 40 all right which is radius 20 and third circle was diameter 7 times 17 times 2 is what that's wait 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 yes radius 12 
radius 24 radius 20 that's 40 then radius 34 34 all right radius 34 in that order okay then i'm going to what finish my sketch after finishing my sketch so i'm going to click on oh sorry i'm in a hurry let me back it i'm not done i'm not done with the sketch yet i'm not done at all okay so pick a straight line okay roll that straight line through the middle in this manner pick my trim trim this trim this and trim this then this here and this here then finish sketch okay picking my extrude i'm gonna extrude this extrude this to the mark of what 25 plus 12 25 plus 12 25 plus 12 and i'm going to do it symmetrically that's what okay okay so extrusion sketch shear sketch extrude not this first one here so mark of what 25 then what symmetrically then what cut all right then what okay so i'm having it also in this manner so let me hide yeah in that area so now we have something right here we are having something like a threaded part okay diameter 9 height is is it the threaded part something like a conical part there okay diameter 9 diameter 9 at the top no diameter is given at the bottom wow that's awesome diameter 9 at the top all right all right but the structure looks conical it looks conical but nothing is given nothing is given and the whole inside is i'm coming let me confirm this all right okay so welcome back it is diameter 9 height of 2 so the diameter of the old year is not given so we are going to discard that so how do we produce this particular part checking my plane here this is the best plane yz plane do you see so it slices that object into what into two equal halves so then i'm going to click on what the create sketch that's actually right there okay so if you actually started with another plane so this yz plane might not actually work for you so you check for the plane that actually slices that object into two equal halves in that manner all right then you watch you continue okay so having this right now i'm going to uh click on project cut edges okay to have it in that manner all right i'm going to click a line right here so from this center i'm dragging a line upwards in this manner like this then what down towards this area so picking my dimension i also that the diameter is what uh the diameter there is diameter nine half of that nine divided by two okay I'm going to revolve that all right nine divided by two that what i'm going to have in there that's what 4.5 and the height there from the top here the height from here to here is what is two two so okay so that is it right there and then i'm going to what finish my what my sketch okay then i'm going to pick my revolve command revolve to click that all right pick my axis pick this line here all right so then i'm what good to go I'm good to go so making it realistic made of what brass made from what brass fantabulous view visual style realistic and what save so I'm going to make it brass two brass two right brass two so that is it so then to the last part which is what the cap the cap yeah the cap so control n to create a new worksheet okay then create all right it's actually interesting yes or no yeah a very big yes interesting. i'm going to click on start to the sketch starting my to the sketch i'm going to pick yz plane for myself then picking the yz plane i'm going to what uh pick my rectangle picking my rectangle i'm creating a rectangle of height of uh 25 then span of 96 okay enter so clicking on this face picking coincident constraint standing right here staples right there 
okay i'm going to kick my out arc center point with my arc center point standing right here i'm having an arc of radius 25 enter i would i draw that in that manner standing right here also arc of uh radius 20 okay enter i'm going to oh sorry not radius 20 sorry i'm going to click arc of radius 17 all right arc of radius 17 enter all right so the inside is also going to be like that of the base so standing right here also arc of radius what 18 enter and i'm going to what i'm going to draw all right so that is that right there okay after doing that i'm going to pick a line standing somewhere here okay i'm going to draw the line to the bottom in this manner okay then height that line to the bottom right here is going to be height of what height of 15 then what enter all right after that enter what is the next thing for me to do i'm going to pick my trim command i'm going to trim this area of okay i'm going to pick this off all right i'm going to uh i'm coming yeah i'm going to trim this here okay i'm going to trim this here all right i'm going to trim this here okay likewise i'm going to trim uh okay i'm going to trim this off then what trim this off okay in that manner so i'm going to pick my line okay from here i'm going to draw this straight line right here okay so the dimension of this line down here is mark of 24 24 enter okay i'm going to produce the same thing on the opposite side all right so pick a line from here towards the top right here picking my dimension here down here to be what uh 24 enter okay so what is the next thing that i'm going to do right now i'm going to actually uh pick my trim command i'm gonna uh okay let me finish my sketch i'm going to finish my sketch before finishing i'm going to trim this area then what trim this area also okay after doing that i'm going to what finish my sketch all right so after finishing my sketch i'm going to pick my what uh extrude picking my extrude all right i'm going to click uh this right here this first of all this then this okay i'm extruding it at the distance of what just like the base 24 okay 24 then it's going to be what symmetric in this manner then what okay i'm going to actually share this sketch all right share sketch pick extrude okay so this thin line at the center i'm going to pick that mark of what like the same thing we did at the top mark of 16 all right mark of 16 symmetric then what cut then what okay i'm going to pick my fillet okay fillet radius what radius 12 okay then here here in that manner here and here in that manner then i'm going to what okay all right i'm going to okay let me hide this full sketch all right then i'm going to pick my origin yz plane then what create sketch creating that sketch i'm going to click on uh this in this manner all right so after clicking on that in that manner i'm going to click on project cut edges after clicking on project cut edges i'm going to pick my line in this manner okay picking my line i'm going to stand right here okay extend my line down here okay yeah i have my line right there then i'm going to pick my height from here down here is mark of uh, three enter so i'm coming to the opposite corner right here i'm going to pick my line also standing right here then what to this edge here okay then the height of my line from here down here is what is three also enter then what finish sketch after finishing the sketch i'm going to what pick my extrude picking my extrude i'm going to pick that corner can you see first corner then coming down here 
do you see picking the second one right there then i'm going to what make it symmetric do you see it that way then i'm going to what click ok and after that okay i'm going to double click on this first fillet maintaining that same radius 12. okay uh sorry i'm going to click on fillet again clicking on fillet radius 12 i'm going to what do it in this way this way do you see this way and uh this edge here right there okay i'm going to click what okay then i'm going to now pick my what my fillet again fillet of radius what radius six with radius six i stand right here can you see it in that manner then coming right here i was i stand here also then i click what okay all right so after doing that okay the next procedure now is clicking on this right here create sketch after creating that sketch i'm going to what, produce circle from this center circle of diameter 10 enter all right so okay let me actually use the mirror command for you to see right here also so i'm going to what click on extrude i'm going to click on what all then what okay all right so i want to transfer this particular hole to the other side here so how do i do that how do i do that i'm going to click on uh let me first get a blend so we are using the xy plane right now so i'm going to click on i'm going to click on my uh mirror command picking my mirror i'm going to what pick the hole right there then i'm going to click what mirror plane i'm going to click what xy plane then what okay so as you can see the hole is what the hole is right there okay yeah we are almost done we are almost done next is what yz plane create sketch all right so i'm going to what section my sketch in that manner all right then i'm going to what actually project cut edges then i'm going to what pick my line standing right here which is on the inside here okay i'm coming sorry i'm going to pick my line standing right here at that center okay then to this area then from this area mark of what towards the mark of nine enter coming right here then ending it somewhere here so the dimension right here is going to be uh six enter then i'm going to what uh from here to here is going to be uh nine enter okay i'm going to pick a line just draw from this midpoint to the bottom right here okay in that manner so the distance there dimension from here down here is uh 4.5 enter then i'm going to click on what finish sketch after finishing my sketch i'm going to pick my revolve picking my revolve i pick oh sh i'm coming i'm coming something is messing it up right here okay so i'm going to edit that sketch back editing that sketch back clicking on section all right so i'm going to uh, pick a line and end this from here to this area here can you see it so finishing my sketch right now i'm going to click on revolve again then that's it okay clicking on this right now i'm going to click on what axis this okay i'm having that at the top then okay so then standing right here creating a sketch in that manner clicking on circle standing right here circle of diameter nine enter okay sorry sorry circle of diameter yeah diameter nine enter finish and after finishing let me confirm it from the question please yeah diameter nine finish then what i'm going to click on what extrude i'm going to click on what all all yeah then what okay you can see so we have the hole now can you see look at it from the top okay so we are done with what we are done with the cap right now so i'm going to make it generic i'm going to use steel alloy also steel alloy view visual style realistic you can use it so i'm going to save it as what as cap cap then what enter all right 
okay so before we go into the assembly since we actually make an alteration you understand for the top there so i'm going to advise us let us make an alteration also to this brass this brass one brass okay this brass two and brass one okay what is the alteration i am actually uh, proposing so let's figure it out now i'm coming this brass two right here okay so what's the alteration so on this particular uh, extrusion here for this brass two here i'm going to click this 25 to be what uh 24 okay okay it then this extrusion two also i'm going to make it to be what 24 instead of 25 24 okay so that's for the brass two right there i'm going to receive it so coming to brass one this extrusion one also i make this 25 to be what 24 okay then this extrusion two i make this 25 to be also what 24 then what okay then this extrusion three make this 25 to be what 24 then what okay all right so that is the alteration i am actually what proposing now let's move to what to assembly control n right now then what standard mm iam then i what i create okay i create it's loading all right okay so we have our assembly drawing uh env working environment so i'm going to click on what place click on place i'm going to pick base brass one brass two cap and what and stored okay so our stored we are going to be using stored how many, how many times two times okay so i'm going to go back and click on place and what stored then what open then what place it somewhere here. then what escape okay so having it in this way having it in this way I'm going to actually uh, I'm going to ground this all right I'm going to ground this which is my base clicking on base I'm going to click on what grounded so my base can't move anymore okay so what's the next thing to do now what is the next thing to do what's the next thing to do I'm going to actually placing the brass into the caps all right caps and the base so let me click on my constraint clicking on my constraint I'm going to click on yeah this edge here that's it okay to this area here can you see it that way okay i'm going to click on what apply then i'm going to click on flush clicking on flush i'm going to open it up like this i'm going to click on this face and this face then what okay so that is it right there properly what positioned all right so uh back here right now back here right now okay so how do we place this one right here so let me tilt it the other way around for me to have a better look all right so in this manner in this manner all right like this so i'm going to click on my constraint right now okay uh, before i click on my constraint let me actually tilt this so i'm going to click on what rotate you know i can actually rotate this like this can you see so i think it's better this way okay okay so escape so i'm going to drag this down here make it big then what click on my constraint i'm going to click on uh insert clicking on insert i'm picking where uh, this particular uh i'm coming i need to be very sure what i'm doing all right yeah this inside here okay right there to fit in here right here can you see i'm going to click on what apply then i'm going to click on meet i'm going to click on flush after picking that i'm going to pick uh that face of mine then what the top here do you see then what okay so my object is also what in place right now so what's the next thing to do the next procedure is this i'm going to click on constraints i'm going to click on what uh insert picking my insert i'm going to pick this right here i'm going to place it here in this manner can you see so i'm going to click what apply so already set to then i'm going to click on what's one of my studs here okay yeah this is our stud here okay these studs of ours the thread 
the shorter threaded part here is going to be at the top why this longer threaded part will be at the, at the bottom all right so with my uh insert constraint picking this edge here aligning it right here on the inside right there okay in that manner first of all then what apply then i'm going to uh escape let me see the end of this one right here okay right there so i'm going to pick my constraint i'm going to pick my insert pick this right here align it right here in this manner and then what okay so that is what the full assembly uh coupling of what of our component that's the full assembly of our, our component i think the color actually looks the same isn't it so let us change the color of one of either the base or the cap all right let's change one of its color so let's change for the cap let's change for the cap so for the cap let us make it about uh silver as the material silver i think silver will be okay right okay yeah silver is okay save it then come to assembly right there so i think it's more or less better ah, about our stores okay now let us change our stud also let's change our store to uh steel alloy okay so that the, the, this thing will complement each other steel alloy okay control s then check okay i think there is a little bit difference here as it is okay yeah looking at it yeah there's a difference there's a difference cited there okay so that is what the assembly of our what of our objects right there okay yeah before we proceed though i think we've made some we've actually skipped some parts right there so for example now uh brass brass okay yeah stored okay so this base yeah the base right here so we fail to actually thread it so i'm going to pick my thread okay yeah this whole here apply okay this whole here okay all right then the cap also the cap thread this whole here apply this whole here apply okay that's it okay so that is how it's going to actually look like so ensure you don't forget and ensure you save each and every one of the uh, views there so this one we are going to name this as our as, as assembly as our assembly enter yes to all okay all right in that manner in that manner all right so what's the next thing for us to do now i'm going to click on control n clicking on my control n i'm going to go to uh let me produce the uh, presentation view first of all so that i won't forget all right so clicking on standard mmipn i click on what's create okay okay so opening it i'm going to click on assembly then what's open clicking on open i'm going to click on my what tweak components so what are the very first thing we are going to remove uh this third one control i don't even need to press control then what stored two okay stored one and two you press control all right then what you click this arrow and what pull it up right so that's it right there okay so what else am i going to actually pull up i'm going to click on uh this loss the cap in that manner then what pull them up can you see pulling them up okay so i'm going to actually click on this okay i'm going to what pull it up then i'm going to click on this last one here then what i'm going to pull it down okay so that is it then what click on what mark there so let's check it out right now so that's going right there this one coming down there boots coming down here then boots going in that's it okay so to disassemble it coming out there going out there coming there coming there okay so that's how it's actually so i'm going to actually save this all right then save yes to all okay yeah it's saving okay now i'm going to what create a working drawing 
environment so under drawing i'm going to click on iso idw create all right create now okay after it has actually opened what's the next procedure i'm going to click on base then clicking on my base i'm going to click on uh assembly then what open having my assembly right there in that order uh let me produce the uh part drawing first of all so scale to what one ratio one mm, let me change it to two ratio oh, it won't be too big jesus christ i this too big okay let me change it to one ratio 0.5 uh, it's big also let me check point seven i think yeah point seven is manageable then what okay in that manner all right so after clicking my okay what was the next thing i'm going to i'm going to click on uh annotate then i'm going to pick my what my balloon clicking on my balloon i'm going to pick this okay okay then what right there enter okay i'm going to click on this enter i'm clicking on this enter i'm clicking on this enter then on this enter so that's it those are five items so i'm going to click on what part list this assembly open okay then what i'm going to place it right there okay so i'm going to double click right there so this part number i'm going to click on format column i'm going to change it to a uh, part name part name okay all right so this right here the base produced through what uh milling milling okay milling and machining actually but let's put milling uh the brass through machining machining on leads okay brass to also machining machining on leads okay the cap the cap is reduced through uh milling milling and boring actually the stall is produced through what threading threading then what apply okay so that is it right there okay so remember what i did in slide number four so all the necessary editing you need to change the name or whatever ensure you what ensure you do that so I'm going to name this assembly isometric view for myself. Okay. So I'm going to create another working drawing right now. Okay. Create. It's loading. I'm going to click on base. Click on assembly. Open. So let me create the autographic reaction of my complete object so let me pick one ratio point eight okay one ratio point eight is better like this this comes here this comes here then this right here okay and this order this is going to shift up a little this comes down a little let me make it point nine okay yeah to make it more spacious okay so then what okay in that manner i'm going to click my what uh annotate the what dimension picking my dimension let me start from the plan right here this right here okay all right so this to this 11 okay this radius 4 okay this 24 right there this 10 right there okay uh, 
the mark from here down here should be 36 right there all right so the distance from here to here is six okay so full distance from here down here that's it's 156 right there all right so i think that's all for this okay this area will come in this m12 okay and I enter something is I miss right there okay let me leave the plan in that order coming to the elevation picking my dimension here down here no it should be here to here this should be nine all right so this should be radius 25 this should be radius 20 that should be radius 6 okay height of 15 height of 25 height of 12 radius 12 right there okay so what else <sighs> coming okay I have to put distance from here to here okay that's it right there then from this midpoint to this midpoint that's it right there okay radius one right there okay coming to the end view right there right there right there right there okay and that's order right i think that's all right here for now so i'm going to click on my manage style editor all right from my style editor default iso period zero zero display right here to right here three text this 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 save all right so yeah i'm good to go so it's in first angle actually so assembly view orthographic that's my preference please change it to what the lecture actually wants all right so that's just it that's my preference i don't have time to start disturbing myself too much you understand so uh clicking on my base let me create the sectional view of my assembly drawing okay yeah so i'm using one point eight giving me point eight i'm going to take it from the plan actually the plan sitting right here with my words okay all right then clicking on my annotate clicking on dimension 
with my dimension coming coming sorry clicking on my section i said dimension clicking on section then coming right here i'm going to cut through the middle like that facing the top then what's continue so this is what we have right here okay yeah that's it all right then i'm going to actually pick uh section i'm going to pick section pick this then from the middle right there also i'm going to what slice through it like this facing this direction continue i'm having what this okay now this one shouldn't be section i'm going to click what hide this shouldn't be section i'm going to click what hide all right so what else what else i think that's all for now yeah that's all others is what dimensioning so i'm going to click annotate dimension yeah the same way you dimension the plan now you're applying here also this one right here this to this right here enter this to this right there this to this right there this right here this right here this right here okay and this right here and this right here all right here to here down here Here to here, down here. Okay, coming down here. Twelve, All right, All right there. All right there. This right there so i'm going to advise you guys ensure you get a mouse ensure you get a mouse it is actually going to help you going forward all right mouse is going to make your work faster going forward please and please ensure you get a mouse it is going to assist you moving forward faster all right yeah you see all this my enlarging moving up and down i'm using the mouse okay if it will be the laptop mouse yeah it won't be so convenient for me okay so and that scroll button your mouse performs a lot of function that's what you're going to you use the scroll button to actually move your object this way can you see and what to enlarge your what or reduce so get a mouse especially for your test try and get a mouse it's actually going to help you going further going forward right so that is that about that that is that about that okay so i think this right here this right here this right here i think that that's okay this here this right here right there right there right there okay go yeah i'm tired so i'm going to stop it there so if you have any other areas to dimension please do that on your style editor so this style editor of it and i won't do it in the next diagram so just know you ought to do it you should do it so that it's going to actually balance the appearance of your uh, dimensions for you so as to save time i won't do that i won't do i won't do them all right so take note of that i won't do them so do that on your own do them on your own all right so you pick the first option under the drop bar all right the first option that one i'm picking okay yeah so i'm going to save this as what assembly section 
So are we going to have any auxiliary view here? Let me check, let me check. Yeah, we can have auxiliary view. We can have auxiliary view. We have a slant area there. Create after create this. Okay, assembly open in this manner. Point seven. No, it will be too big. Point nine. Okay, this way. Let me just move it that way. So I'm going to click on auxiliary. Clicking on it that way. Okay. In this manner. All right. So I'm going to actually double click on this. Click on this. This. Aiden view and yeah, what okay all right I'm coming yeah better better can you see so that's it so do the nearest dimension so I will name it as assembly auxiliary all right so that's it right there i'm going to open a new sketch create base all right i'm going to click on my base now i'm doing the assembly drawing for each of the part now i mean the orthographic and sectional view for each of the part now so i'm going for base first of all ah the scale i pick is too small it's as small as small all right so one region one is better standing right here front view plan and view this okay annotate dimension this right there this to this right there okay yeah this to this right here this right here this right here okay this right here this right here this right here okay this right here this to this right here okay this right there This right here, this to this right here, okay. Yeah, that was all, all right. So we'll do your manage whatever on your own. So I'm going to name it as what base orthographic. And please don't forget those things you are going to actually change here. All this your information here, right? Ensure you do that also. Ensure you do that. Ensure you do that. Okay. So let me create this section now. scale one ratio one so i'm going to be using the plan this time around having it right here okay clicking on my section okay picking my section right there picking this right here then coming down here facing the top like this all right then section also this right here 
okay then going up there down here towards this side in this manner then annotate dimension yeah this area should be four the blue area is four and the whole of this is 24 so you should know what's next right there okay and this to this 25 You do this area the same way you did the uh, dimension uh that autographic okay that's the way you're going to dimension this yeah so let's not switch our time yeah because uh, the more i do it the more the video gets elongated then the other it is for me to actually process it that's just it the other it is for me to process it if it is too long so it's take over five six hours before the video actually processes itself if it is too long so brass open brass one okay on a scale of two ratio one let's see uh, all right yeah okay so my annotates dimension for brass one enter enter okay 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 yeah i think that's all we need to see there then this right here so please do your manage whatever whatever okay and ensure you save so i'm saving this one as my brass one autographic it's in first angle right there's no autography like some village people it is autographic not autography this is not photo all right so creating new sketch i'm going to click on create so i'm going to click on uh my base my brass one open yeah skill theory is one straight away don't waste time i will need this way okay yeah my plan right here okay so i'm sectioning it now this way towards the top having it like this then sectioning this way towards the bottom towards the side continue all right so dimension this right here this right here this right here this to this set it this to this set it okay so i'm going to save it as my brass section okay so i'm creating a new create that means for brass to brass to common brass to open scale i'm using the ratio one this this yeah my front view my plan and view isometric view this comes up a little okay my annotates dimension enter enter right there 
राइट के राइट के राइट के वाव रिस रिस राइट इट राइट के राइट इट राइट के Okay, so do your manage style editor, whatever, whatever you understand. Do them browse orthographic orthographic. So, as I said, the orthographic projection should always be in first angle, while your section in most cases make do of what's third angle. All right, so if you don't know what's first angle or third angle, is go to my YouTube page and watch my video explanation on orthographic projection i think i actually shared the link with you guys so you can watch and understand that better all right so i'm developing the section i view right now okay annotate sorry please view section and section this you know they continue in this section this in this manner this area continue all right fantabulous yeah that is fantabulous in my voice not in mr macaroni's voice in my voice okay yeah and this way this way wow okay this is this way this is this way this this way this this way so i'm going to save this as brass to section brass to section okay wait i haven't done it asymmetric view oh gosh I haven't okay so you control it please time is going because the larger this video is the other it is for me to actually process so ensure you do the orthographic projection for that brass too so let me move to the next one immediately okay let me just show you the orthographic of uh brass to I think I've actually done the decent of this. Let me check. Oh, I should have done that. Sorry, I don't. Uh, my last memory is working perfectly. <laughs> I've done it. I've done it. So we move. We move. We move. We move. We move. We move. Drawing a level. Okay. So the next part. The next part. So as I said earlier on. Uh, in my previous video if it is in test and you know that okay out of six parts you can only create maybe four or five you know if you create four or five you won't be able to assemble everything so if you can assemble the part you've created assemble no allah if you can't assemble them please this thing i'm doing do them it's charismatic okay just come here do the orthographic do the sectioning you understand and you are good to go at least at all at all i ain't bad pass so if you can do this then you are good to go like seriously yeah i mean it you are good to go. I know a lot of people during our exams. All they actually did is not that much. But because they actually had a solid C in the first place. So try something in your C. So the exam is just patch up. Alright. So for those of you who are saying let me just pass and go. So you can actually like something like D or E. Okay. So you know there is this added that school is not that it is those who are looking for first class. Me, I'm not looking for first class, so uh -huh. so for those of you looking for first class so you can actually practice very well to our first class so you want have an a that's 15 points so it's it's plenty 15 points is plenty oh poor oh poor so that's it so please ensure you create your project file while drawing ensure you create project file 
you know most of the drawings i'm doing here now i did not show you project five because i expect you to have actually know that if you do not create project five please go back to the links i sent to the group earlier on and check all right on how to was how to create project five please and please because if you don't create project five your work they might not access it and if they access it they are going to remove your mark it's going to be even difficult for them to access it so project file itself is a mark on its own please and please don't forget to create your project file ensure you create your project file create project file before you start working create project file before you start working people okay Okay, I'm going to save this. So do your next stuff you need to do here, right? Uh, cap auto graphic cap auto graphic next gosh so create base okay cap section so annotate dimension Okay, do your manage style whatever whatever all right i move i move cap section yeah so the last part se sorry second to the last part right there base stored that one should be cheap yeah cheap like planting chips straight away let's make this something theory she want yeah it's okay stay here uh, stay here uh, stay here uh, and stay here uh, okay so yeah do straight you won't see it here that's it but we can actually have this to this right there then this to this right here okay so I'm naming this as what stored orthographic not orthography 
I'm thinking of something about on this. I'm coming. Let me check. Oh, I just want to try this for the first time. Be? Let me see. Hmm, it's not coming up. Kushisha, don't worry. Yes. Hmm, Kushisha. Okay, I'm moving to a new working environment. Create base coming to start. Okay, open. Making this T ratio one. Give me the top here. Okay, right here. Okay, section. As it annotates. Okay, you know we don't we don't section boots, so I'm going to what? Uh, sorry, hide. Okay, we call this what? Stored section. Stored section. Boom. All right. So that comes to the end of slide lecture three. Okay. So that is that. All right. So if you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel, subscribe. God is watching you. Subscribe. All right. So thank you guys. Thank you very much.